Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be checking out the ghost here again today. Just because it's been a very long time since we've played them. Nothing has changed directly with Ghost, but the entire game around Ghost has changed since I've last played them. It was before the major update that changed all of the waves in the game, giving them, you know, lots of lots more enemies. Which is something that ethereal weapons like, and Ghost is the ethereal weapon main. So we get plus 10 damage with ethereal weapons, 30% dodge, dodge is capped at 90%, all good, right? Minus 100 armor. <laughs> Minus 100 armor. Get hit, you die, basically. More or less is the concept, is the idea. You can work around it so you can take like two hits or something. Ooh wee. Uh, but you're, basically you're going to die if you get like grazed. We're going to take the Ghost Axe here just because I want to play around with it. I, I like the weapon a lot. I think it's a fun one. Um, we'll want to take a... Like, my idea is go Ghost Axe, but take lots of attack speed. Uh, items is kind of the way to go. Like, I, I think that'll be the thing. Like, I could obviously go for some Ghost Flints. We're going to be offered them. Uh, we could take them in addition here. I guess I'll take speed. Like, this character will... Obviously get offered them. Tree's dying a hit is, is tempting, but hopefully we can scale our damage to a point where that doesn't matter because we are just doing it anyways. That's the dream, at least. Um, but yeah, I feel like the 1% the damage scaling is innately more powerful than the attack speed one. So we're going to do this and truly just buy and pick up as much attack speed uh, as possible to kind of balance it out it is sort of a thought I, I think i think here so we'll go for this i think at wave three we can have three weapons the reason you saw me combine the ghost axe there when i don't do that with other weapons is because you know they're kind of competing for stats uh you know competing for the stacks you kill 20 enemies with the base weapon you get one percent damage up forever um blue is what 18 yeah so, combining it not only makes it so it's like lower requirements to hit that threshold, it also means there's less weapons fighting for it. Hey, we got the damage right at the end. Less weapons fighting for it. Attack speed, we need that. I guess I'll take some health just to try and, uh, just to try and make it so we don't explode. Do we want Lumberjack shirt? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I'll regret it, I'm sure. But yeah, here we go. Wave four. Ghost Axe, it's, like, it's a really good tool, is what it is. Like, it's a pretty good weapon itself. Like, it's fine. You know, it beats the hell out of Plank. Uh, but it's also just so, so slow that the reason you take it is obviously for the passive. That being said, when you get a free 10 flat damage on top of it, and then it starts to scale by percentage, that's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. Out of this, I'll take the max HP just so we're less likely to die in one hit. Couple ghost ones, I'm not going to lie, they're very, very tempting. Oh, come on. All right, well, at least we have that for the future to look forward to. We're at 54% dodge. You know, the, uh, the ghost axes... Ethereal set bonus gives us dodge. I think it's up to um, 30 dodge. 30 dodge minus 5 armor at max, which is it's a good trade, especially for this character. You know, like, we're dealing with such an extreme amount of armor down that we're taking 87% more damage anyways. Oh my god. Yeah, attack speed is going to be huge. We're going to need something like a, um, you know, if we get the obvious community support item would change everything. I, oh, I do want that loot goblin, but I don't know if we'll kill in time. Oh, God, I... I want it. I want him. I want him, but hey, what are you gonna do? This is 2x crit. 2x crit. I think we do it then. Take the other blue. There we go. Start to stack them like that. We want to just make sure we get the one... If we get 1% on every weapon... That's still, like, uh, what, two times Vigilante Ring? Which, 
probably puts it into perspective how like how solid it it is because vigilante ring it, you sh you, it shows up everyone's like oh my god that item's fantastic it's amazing and it is it's really good well if you have six ghost axes you can have pretty easily accrue double vigilante ring for free guaranteed no luck involved just like you get it and also if any weapon uh, double dips like they totally are it's even better than double vigilante ring we just need a lot of attack speed though like so much i will take this flat damage will go a long way alien worm will help just keep us from uh, keep us from immediate dying bag is nice i'll take it it's fine Attack speed, what's our range? All right, that helps our permanent growth better. Like we don't really want a lot of range with this this weapon. It's already so, so slow that having to deal with the extra penalty is actually like, it's kind of noticeable on this character or on this kind of weapon I find. Holy crap. Thank you for those dodges. Though, I bet you we built up enough HP to take a hit. I don't really want to find out. Ow. Yeah, we totally, totally can, at least from some sources. Depending on what we get hit by is going to be a really big factor on whether or not we die from it. Okay. We're, we're, we're risking things a little bit too much here, I'd say. I want that tree, but, like, I'm working my way there, man. Cool. Cool. Good. 253. 8 max HP. Minus 4 dodge. Like, I, it's not like... I'm not going to say it's dumb, but I'm going to say I'm not going to take it. One alien eyes. Uh, three flat for 2% crit. I did, did, did fine. What's my speed? Okay. Works for me. I probably should have taken the damage percentage up range down. I, in fact, I definitely should have. But I'll tell you what, this leaves me in a good spot for, um, for Cyclops Worm. Good deal. Oh, we... Oh, we are... <laughs> we are stressing out here. Double crate, really lucky, though. Thank you for that luck. Uh, on the dodge. I want that loot goblin, but... I'm not sure how safe it is. Why does Retromation not go for Loot Goblin? Is he blind? Does he intentionally not go for them? No, sometimes it's going to get me freaking killed, dude. Like, just just trust. Just trust, man. Have I not earned your trust? <laughs> like, God. Oh, boy. All right. Two armor. I mean, like, there's a world where we take... Oh. Huh. Oh god, that's a lot of harp. It's a lot of missed materials over the course of the run. Oh, it's it's not that I don't want that. It's just way too early in the run to get it. Nine max HP is very tempting. Nine dodge is more. I could take wheelbarrow. Small magazine is actually probably a good idea. Like we we want the attack speed that bad that I'm willing to take a uh, redundant stat upgrade and, uh, and a percentage damage downgrade. I think it's that worth it, especially on wave nine. It genuinely may lead to us gaining uh, an extra damage percentage up or so that we wouldn't have otherwise, that 10% attack speed, therefore making the, uh, the pickup a little bit less hazardous seeming, but... I mean, dang, like, look at this. this is, we love Wave 9. Wave 9 on the Ghost is always lovely. Well, Wave 9 on... Ooh, and a run. Any run with Ethereal Weapons. Please, I do want that pickup. Don't, don't risk it. Okay, we'll be fine. Whoop. Go, 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 go. We're going to get a huge upgrade after this wave. Oh, my God. Huh. Some attack speed would be huge, obviously. Oh, ah, ah, ah. And I, again, to be very clear, I know we could theoretically get it from Ghost Flint. Nice, uh, nice. Uh. I know we could theoretically get it from Ghost Flint. Yeah. 
1.22, 1.15. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, leather vest is a good call. Probably. Probably? Is it? We're dealing with some wacko numbers with, um... Ooh, boy. With the armor. You know, it's like, if I remove my, reduce my armor by a little bit, it's not that it doesn't change the amount of damage I take. It it probably will, maybe? But like, the reason to take that would be for that extra dodge, and we're at, we're at 84. I think I actually regret locking it. I think I'm not going to buy it. It's not that it's not something that would probably be helpful. I just don't think it's worth the money for us right now. We'll find a little bit of dodge from something else, I'd say. Oh boy. Like, I would rather have... I think I would rather have the health right now. So it's kind of spooky. Speaking of spooky, this character. Existence is spooky. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. 20% damage. Fine. Don't range up. Uh, like, uh, blindfold. Bing, bang, boom. We're basically capped. Absolutely. Uh, little muscly dude, incredible pickup for us right now. I do want to bring my range down a little bit for extra attack speed. 0.96. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're on the boss. We're on the boss. And this is not a melee friendly one. AKA, it's not one of the bosses in, or it is one of the bosses that's in Brotato. Uh, because man, just across the board, unless it's Chef, they just are not designed with melee in mind in such a frustrating way. Like, to the point where I probably shouldn't be going for them. Like, I know I almost got them there, kind of, but, like, look at that. I, I would... If I fail one of my 90% or whatever 90% dodges, which sounds impossible, but totally is not, we're going to be in hell. We could die in one shot. Like, we totally could. And that's what's... Oh, God. Ah! Ah! I don't think we would, but we probably could. Uh, Sad Tomatoes is great for us. It's, yeah. Huge. Banner good. There we go. Stacks don't mind if I do. Bing, bang, boom. But yeah, like, sad tomato. It's a good pickup. Like, obviously, if we take it and then we get hit and fail the 10% chance, uh, second one in the wave, I'm going to be livid. <laughs> I'm going to be livid. But after that, it makes it so if we take a hit, uh, we will probably regenerate before we're worried about taking another one. We totally need more HP, though. Maybe we could take armor. Maybe. I don't know if I care. I don't know if I care about trying to get that to a point where it's, like, going to make a meaningful difference. It's not as dumb as it probably seems, but it's... I don't think it's a good idea. Oh. I think... I think HP and lots of regen is the way to go. Obviously, like, Tardigrade, I've talked about it in the past... Uh, like, the second I saw it, literally the first thing I thought was, like, I hope I get this on Ghost. It seems to show up every... Oh, that's a good reference point, though. It seems to show up on every run. So far, so, like, fingers crossed. Hunting trophy. Uh, 17 crit. Does it pay for itself? I think it pays for itself. I'll get Scar. Mostly, like... So what do we pay? We paid 130 for it. We'll keep that in mind. 130 Have I passed some weird aliens? Or, ge sorry, gentle aliens? Too many alien items. Have I passed one? I feel like I might have out of, like, fear. When I'm playing a run where I'm, like, stressed out, I kind of just, like, passively skip over gentle alien in my head. I'm like, no, that's not an option. But it's obviously good on a ethereal weapon run. Because it's all it's already good. And then when you have a second reason for it to be good, it's like 
you know. You don't you don't need a second reason for it to be good. Is basically the thing. You don't need a second reason. But if you have one, oh boy, obviously take it. Risk a little bit of a biscuit here at the end here. Uh, Luke Goblin, got him. Oh, ah. Uh, I think I can make up the eight percent damage. <laughs> I think I can make up the eight percent damage pretty fast. Correct. What's my dodge at? Eighty-nine. Uh, I'm gonna take it and build up my dodge again. Right? I think that's the play. Like, obviously, that's very scary. Like, you you really want to be at you want to be at ninety. Ideally, you want to be at a hundred, man. But you, it doesn't do anything. You're capped. Killing the host is actually pretty good with this character, or with this uh, this playstyle. Ooh, with this playstyle. More babes means more stats to farm. Hell of a lot of enemies. Very swarmy. What's going on here? Thank God for all of our attack speed, basically. That attack speed is netting us so much damage up. Sans Gentle Alien, too. Sans Undertale, even. Whoop. I don't like the amount of times I see the word dodge, because that means, like, I'm very, very close to, uh, you know, having a wee bit of a freak out. Oh, boy. Just, I need, I just need a little bit of, like, actual raw health. That's anti-raw anti health. Insanity is actually like a really good pickup for us right now. 3% damage, not that big of a deal. 6% crit, kind of a big deal. 6% chance to be doing 200 more damage. Kind of nuts. Crit is a great stat. Like, I think that that's one of the secret things I like about Hunting Trophy right now is when I get it. I just kind of, like, remember how good crit is, and I buy a lot of it. So, like, runs that are hunting trophy runs, because, like, let's look at how much it's given us. 107. It hasn't even paid for itself yet. Um, which I have 22 crit. I have 25% chance to crit, and it hasn't paid for itself yet. So, like, it obviously is going to this run, and it was a good pickup. But I would say, like, the fact that it um, makes me want to stack my crit like crazy probably ends up helping my runs more than maybe like the what 30 bucks it's gonna net me in a couple waves run 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 no oh. okay uh, <laughs> wow huge uh triangle power is free getting lots of attack speed ups oh my god like i, I don't mind that one bit I am surprised by it, but I don't mind it one bit. We have no- I- huh. I think I might just end up taking- I'm gonna at least lock it. I was hoping that I would, um, you know, get my dodge back up to 90 at this point. I was hoping that would have happened by now, but no. This should be a pretty easy way for us, I think. Wave 16 is a weird one because it's, it's um, depending on what you have, it might be the easiest wave you have in a long time. Like, if you have something that does fairly chunky damage, even if it is a bit slow, it's usually not too bad of a wave. Uh, it gets a little bit scarier when the buffed dashy boys get in here, though. They, uh, let me be clear, a buffed up dashy boy kills me in one hit for sure. No doubt in my mind. I can't get to the other stuff. I can't get to it. Send your turn. No. Uh, dodge down. No. Attack speed. Yes. I'm just taking it at this point. Like, I, I need that dodge back up. Wave 17, Dangerous Bunny. I'm going to say no at... <gasps> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I 
I think we can afford to get that if now that we have um now that we picked up the potion. So here's the thing. Ignore this guy for the most part until we're at full HP so that maybe we can take a hit from him. He's super anti-melee. But he's also super dead. Dodge that. It's a free full heal. Kill the buff boy. Buff boys are like a number one concern for us because they make enemies that wouldn't one-shot us probably be able to one-shot us. Uh. Like, we got to do what we can to get them. Obviously, like, we're not going to be able to perfect tunnel vision all of them. Kind of want to kill the hosts, but only if I know I'll be able to be next to him. Ah, shoot. One escaped. Bloop, 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 bloop. What a satisfying <gasps> sound effect. How many dodges just tried to proc at the same time there? <laughs> Game. <gasps> it's here. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one I wanted. Jetpack, is seem it seems really tempting, but we only need 3% dodge. I only need 3% dodge. I'm going to say, I'm actually going to say, no, screw it. I don't care. Uh, melee damage up. We, we have like a tiny, we keep, on, we keep on juggling it. We have a tiny bit of dodge we can get rid of now if we, uh, if we need to. How do we get to 180, 18 harvesting? 180, 118. Oh, because we, we've taken three wheel, wheelbarrows. <laughs> That'll do her. And tractor. I mean, totally worth it. I mean, look at our, oh no, our damage. Oh no. It's really, it's really low. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, totally paid off. I, the amount of money we've gotten from that has definitely increased my damage. All right. I kind of want to get back to the buff boys, but we need to be careful about the pathway. Okay, buff boy down. Buff boys down. Always a rough wave, always a spooky wave. Uh, this this run, it's a little bit less so, though. Not too bad of a wave for us. I mean, it's the thing is, we're giga stacked. We are we are god tier strong. Our damage is amazing. Our attack speed is fantastic. Like we're very very strong. The issue is literally just the elephant in the room of us exploding on contact. Oh my god. Uh, there's a world where that's actually a good idea. There's a real, did we take snail today? Did we get snail? We got snail. I'm going to take it. Oh. Sure. Could. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, this, this little section is spooky, but now that we have that one tardigrade, that's fantastic. You know, that'll, that'll help a lot. It's a range. 37. I can tell. I can tell. I don't like it, actually. Like, it looks visually nice, but I think it is impacting me in a way that I thought was mostly made up. The animation is super, super fast, but we do have to wait for it to finish up. I really want these buff boys, but dang, man. We got to put ourselves in so much turmoil just to get them and get to them. Okay. Fine, 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 fine. I, there's a buff boy down there. I'm just, I'm just going to miss him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stats, 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 stats. That was really bad. But if I never see the word nullify, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, quick chance up? Absolutely. More melee damage? Absolutely. Wandering bot? Fantastic. Dang, man. Really? Really? We're going to be one off the freaking legendary? Screw you. Let me guess. 
bite me. All right. So this is scary as hell. It's like, I want to just tunnel vision and I'm doing it. Okay, we win. Here. Oh. Cause like the beginning part of the, uh, the wave is the time to do it. Cause he doesn't, that other guy doesn't start attacking yet. Done. Like, obviously <laughs> this character is weird. He's super easy, kind of, and super impossible in another, in another way. Like, I would imagine this is like a character that players that are kind of new to the game or new to the genre probably would say is the hardest character, I would, I would guess. But as you like get proficient and get really good, you can scale into this really silly location. Uh, I think that you just go, I, I think that you do this angle. I truly do. I think Ghost Axe plus, buying attack speed is better than ghost flint plus buying damage it's a lot easier to scale into silly territory by getting one percent damage uh, than it is to get that one percent attack speed especially due to the diminishing returns of having lots of attack speed plus we were able to get like a we got we got so freaking much we got so freaking much uh we got so many coffees this is really lucky eight coffees is stupid but you know what is just as good as eight coffees? One community support. <laughs> Let alone two. And we didn't get that. So uh, not, that I'm, not that I'm sitting here complaining or anything. Hunting trophy got us 342. So it gave us a net profit of about 200. Uh, which is which is good. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's not bad. Um, but is it that much better than spending 130 bucks on 130 bucks worth of harvesting? I don't know. Probably not. Pro probably not. You probably get less. Like, the, the big issue is that most harvesting items come with another price uh, with them. But either way, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Obviously, it's a little bit of a shorter run because it's a little bit of a um, clean, easy, quick kill on the uh, the last boss. Would I say that the uh, ghost is easier than they used to be? Yes and no. I would say they're a little, like, they're more dangerous, but they also can pop off a lot more than they used to be able to. Um... There's just a lot, there's a lot more stuff for them to farm to get stronger. So yeah, I, I'd say across the board, it's it's very very strong and terrible at the same time. Just just as Ghost has always been, very strong and also terrible. <laughs> you're kind of you're leaning on the whims of the world with the dodge and situ like all that situation. However, the addition of Tardigrade makes this character way better, but you have to find it, you know. That being said, I don't think we ever procced Tardigrade, but that doesn't mean that I'm not happy we had it. I never saw the word nullified, I don't think. But uh, the fact is that you could get like two or three or four, you know? Pretty big deal. Alas, alas, that's that. It's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue some more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.